I appreciate you this morning, Lord. I thank you. I thank you for this privilege. I thank you for the opportunity, Lord. I do not take you for granted. Lord, I step in the shoes of my father this morning. I pray that you speak through me in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, Lord, you say there's a right time for your right season. Lord, the right time for these people, Lord, the right word, you will speak to them in the name of Jesus. I'm standing here by the grace of, our, of your servant, Reverend Alexander from Rokoju. I step in his shoes this morning and I speak over these people that every word that I say, Lord, that shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Can we jam us together for Jesus? Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Before I move forward this morning, I'm going to be doing some recap before I move into my own message. Our dear minister, Mr. Bayo, okay, was talking about vision. And um, I was wondering that so many people were seeing me that when we were doing Thanksgiving, I was dancing. And you know one thing Bishop said that he recapitulates? He said, your pictures will determine how well you appreciate God. And when he was singing, when they were singing that song that he has made all things new, I see him making, giving us a mega church. That's why you can see me shouting. I see him. You know, Bishop said something there. He said, by 50, he wants a Rolls Royce to be parked in his garage. I see that Rolls Royce being parked. Home being parked. I see people making money. I see people doing exploits. I see people winning millions of souls. That's why you can see me that I was celebrating God. You see, Bishop said something. He said, it is, he said something. He said, don't focus on what God, what you can do for God, but focus on what God can do for you. And that vision was the one that will help you to shape in your picture. It will help you to see where you are going. You know, sometimes, um, uh, 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 pastors do say something. He said, because if you look at Jesus Christ, he uh, said, the reason why he stayed on the cross, can you imagine, even though God himself had to turn back on him, because he knows the, where the result is going to come. There are some times where the result is going to come. You, in fact, you don't mind rolling on the floor, because you know that when you roll in this floor, by the time it gets, it happens, people will not remember that floor again. I don't know, maybe anybody's with me this morning. Are you connecting with me this morning? I'm taking you somewhere this morning. Praise God. Look at that scripture. It says, Job 42, verse 5. Say, I have heard of him by the hearings of the hear, and now my eyes see. I don't know that thing where you have heard. You know, sometimes um, pastor will share some testimonies with us. He was coming back on one of the prayers that we came back, and he said that he saw for those people that they were dug in the tunnel. They were dug in the tunnel. I'm telling you, I've read that story before of a man that he was digging for water. Digging, 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 digging. It's just for one axe for him to strike and he gave up. Another person came. <laughs> I just put, Pua! that's it. You will never give up in the name of Jesus. I don't know every pressure, every pressure. He said when we pass through trials and tribulation, he said we should rejoice because it's shaping you. It's taking you somewhere. This same me that the man of God had told before in the congregation like that go home and go back and change. I'm not sure anybody can tell me to go back home and change right now. Glory to God. You know, there are some things you do. You think that you are doing it. You know, pastors say, say that when you are giving him money, you think you are helping him. Let me share a secret with you this morning. He said, whatever your eyes see, as you are seeing those pictures, something, there's something you need to do for you to get that result. Those are the things I'll be sharing with you this morning. I remember there was a time when I was in university days, I, I had some roommates. <laughs> some of them were part of this ministry for some time. They, they just noticed that once it's 4 a.m., they won't see me in the room again. <laughs> one of them were like and you know one thing is that results will make you to see what people are doing the reason why people are joining courtesan is because they are seeing those people having results pastor to say something said that you will see a man this shall be here this shall be here this shall be here <laughs> and people are coming to buy from this man <laughs> they will leave one two three four five six seven eight, and come to number ten my brother it's not ordinary. Amen? I'm going to be sharing some life experience with you this morning. And I want your mind. The pastor said, said, it's not great meeting that made great people. 
the decision you want to make this morning. I'm telling you, if you can run with this decision, your life will never remain the same. I know some people who have run with these things, they, they, are, they are living testimony. We are a living testimony. I'm a living testimony. I don't know that which you've heard that God has done for anyone. So let me finish that story as I continue because I have so many things this morning. That's why you can see that I'm trying to cut them. So the guy just noticed that this guy would disappear. 4 a.m. I'm out of the room. What am I going to do? I will leave one, two, three. There's a corner by the side. I'm there because I don't want, you know, when you have people staying with you, you can't say because you are spiritual. You know, Bishop said, the more spiritual you are, the more relatable you should are. There's wisdom in everything. I will go, get jelly, because I'll still be the one that will lead the fellowship in the morning for prayer. So I will have gone there 4 a.m. the morning. What am I doing? I'm praying. Sometimes when I wake up, I'm tired. But because I've been listening to the man of God, there is a place that you will say that it is when you are when you are firing, when you are getting tired, that's when you should fire. As I'm doing like this, yeah, the labels. As I hear that thing again, I will refire because I know there is a glory ahead. But one thing this guy notices is that towards the end of the semester, when everybody's broke, my brother, I'm rich. Sometimes I take like 10, 15 people to to not me me eatery. But if you see me, even though my dressing, you will not know. Praise God. There was a time we had to do something. I think we had, um, I mean, our final year, wanted to do a program. They needed some money, maybe about 70K balance to have to work. And the guy, they were with somebody. There, and that guy said that, ah, I know somebody that can borrow all this money before people will pay. When he mentioned my name, that guy said, oh, hey, uh, show boy. And then we, because I was the class rep, and I'm under two hundred naira. The guy said, "You don't know anything." He now said, "Okay, I will prove to you." He called me. When he called me, I was not at home. I was out doing some business. And I said, when he called me, he said, "Ah, so 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 so." I said, "Okay, don't worry. Go to so so place. So so inside the same room. You know, Bishop, you say that there are some things that our mother will keep. I learned it from my mother. Inside the same room where the money was." <laughs> The guy said, <laughs> but guy, I'm going to change you by because we are my son. You know, as in he saw the 200,000 naira cash. Invest days. Invest days. I've been under discovery. Amen. When he brought that money to that guy, that guy could not believe. Because they needed 70, he brought 100. They have SS. Then that thing, he now called me one day, he said, wait, oh, that he noticed that I used to go up every 4 a.m. to go and pray. Why? And I said, and I sat him down. He said, see, my father and the Lord told me something. He said, any man that cannot pray and cannot be on the other side, said he's joking. So I knew that if I am not praying, and I'm not on the other side. I hope you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, Bishop will say that don't joke with your finances. I'm a living testimony. From secondary school, I've been paying my bills. Amen? Amen? My father is a landlord. Though. He has money. But you know there are some times that some child, that because of where you are going, God will make you to pass through some channel. You make it to pass through some channel. The days that I need money, that's when they don't have money. Amen? Today is what? It's an history. The same thing with a man of God. So I learned this thing. By what? By submitting under the covering. And I'm recapitulating what our minister, our resident pastor was talking about honor. So I'm going to be moving forward. I'll be using scriptures. I don't have to. I just need you to be coding. You understand? It's a code. You understand it? Just be coding. As I'm saying it, be what? If you don't get it, <laughs> yo, yo. Glory to God. Look at it here. Amen. I will try to balance up because I have so many things. So, can we open to, to the book of. Jeremiah 1 verse 12. 
Amen. Let me use KJV here. Jeremiah. Said, they said the Lord unto me. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast seen, thou hast well seen, for I have hastened my word to perform it. I wrote it here. I said that he will quicken his word. That that promises. And why I've come to this thing is that I'm going to follow what our man of God was talking about. You know, he was talking about honor. He was talking about honor. Honoring the man of God. Whenever you have a project coming, let me share a secret with you. What you need to do is that look for what is available in your hand and go to the man of God and say, Sir, take this. Share with him. I'm expecting social projects. I'm telling you, if that project does not come, you will see the reason why in the future. But as long as God tarries, nothing was in that, that project. And you know the problem we have sometimes is that we think that uh, I need to have 100 million. No. I've had story of people who they were just doing faithfully. That guy, he will bring 500 naira. 500 naira. 500 naira. 500 naira. And the man of God who were receiving it. 500 naira. And he's into food business. <laughs> I know my man of God will be understanding where I'm coming from. He's into food business. He said, he just heard on the radio. You know that thing, Bishop, we just said that you hear the information that there's a competition for food, something, something. He said, even his phone was cracked. He said, I find a means one way, one way, one way. You know those things? They even almost want to close the thing. He said, I jabbo, jabbo, and register. Before you know it, they called him. And he went for that competition. He came toward. They gave him 1.5 million naira. From how much? What did I say? I don't know. But you know the thing is that it's not just about that 500 naira. It's about your consistency. And you're not saying, ah, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on 500. There are people, who, look, if you look at that story, look at it that when somebody give it a, a, a small seed, small, tintiny seed, is what God appreciates. The one that gave big. <laughs> God said, mm, okay, I and this is not here yet. 500 naira. My brother, this thing I'm sharing with you, I have practiced the giving. I have practiced the not giving. <laughs> you know, did anybody hear that story of that woman say, hey, Abel, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> help me, help me. May that not be your story. Because I'm telling you, you see, when you stay in that faithfulness, immediately you stop it to catch up back. Kasatabaya. You, you'll be doing everything like this. You'll be doing everything. 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 And it amounts to nothing. I've served the man of God. And I've served men. I have seen the difference. I'm telling you. I'm sharing life experience. People have blessed me. I've had somebody send me things in thousands of dollars for free. Amen? So don't think I'm, I'm coming from a, an angle. The Lord told me, he said, this is what I want you to do. I don't know. I'm under a covering. Before I stand up there, the man of God said to me, he said, hot runs. I said, okay. <laughs> it's becoming clearer. Because I know by my own self, me, uh, as man of God, I can't even hold my microphone here before. I'm a very shy person. I like to just stay in my corner. But with the help of God, we are here today. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I'm taking you somewhere. What did I say? 500 naira. The same way one, our man of God here was sharing testimony. He said, somebody just look at him. I said, sir, I like the way you are talking. <laughs> I like what you are doing. And he said, do you have a back account? <laughs> like some of us, the bishop have been saying, go and open the account. <laughs> they will shock you. Don't worry. 
That day, I pray it will not be late for you. I'm serious. I'm telling you. There are so many things that Bishop have asked me to do. <laughs> it will look like, oh, Bishop, Mumbo, Legend Lobby, Oga. You will be walking like this. Walking. 9 to 5. 9 to 11. Monday to Sunday. And somebody that is coming at 9 a.m. Like this. Go 3 o'clock. <laughs> he will be receiving more salary than you. They will give him a car. Because what? It's not by work. Let me take you somewhere here. Hallelujah. Can you move with me this morning? Glory to Jesus. If you are happy with me this morning, can you shout, shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Praise God. Look at it here. Romans 11 verse 6. Romans 11 verse 6. Oh God. And what? And if by grace, there's no more, it is no more of works. Otherwise, what? Grace is no what? There's no more grace. That means that, <laughs> that, ah, um, oh, they are calling me for church. Ah, um, um, sir, Mondo Subishel Alai Jarai. I've been there. I've done faithfulness. God, man, my brother, it's better to serve God. He said, The heart of man, uh, the heart of kings, are in his hands. That means that your heart of your boss in the office is in God's hands. The more you are aligned with him, that's why he said, that, He said, For abide in me and high in him, we do what? We do what? We bear more fruits. That's what he's trying to say is that he says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other thing shall what? If you now look at it, he now says it again. He said, from the day of John the Baptist, what? Uh -huh. Sir, we have many pastors in the house. You can travel anywhere, sir. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Amen. Look at this here. I said, if it is by grace, then it's no more of works. Otherwise, <laughs> like Bishop used to say, ah, God, <laughs> you they play with me. Pay more while office, more she share. It's the same thing, though, everywhere. Everywhere. I'm sorry to say, even though to the outside people there that are into the other things in the world, it's every, everywhere. A man of God has shared with us here when he was in the banking job. They said, ah, insurance, offer, follow me. And before you know it, <laughs> Bishop Bishop know it. <laughs> so if you are not careful, if you are not standing faithful with God, you will abide with the other side. I'm telling you. What did I say? You abide with the other side. You know that thing Bishop used to say when there are some years ago that Bishop would say that ah, that um, I can wear a wristwatch of of 1.5 million. I'm how we are Bishop any so one point kill it be. But today is a story. We are. Don't let up, sir. I should go right on, sir. Continue, sir. Show has given me pass. So why I'm sharing these things with you, it's no longer of your works. In that your place of work, you're having a challenge. Bring a seed to the man of God. He said, even though they were, your enemy what? They will be at peace with you. I'm telling you, I'm sharing what? Life what? Experience with you. And they say experience the what? I told Bishop, when he told me, he said, Sir, what would you like to do? I said, I would like to be, I can play the video for you easier. Line of faith. Say, receive it. And I've been aligned. 
the days of ah, Mr. Jasper. <laughs> <laughs> if Mr. Jasper call your phone, <laughs> sir, sorry, sir, you will know there are some places they will take you to. No bishop will say he's preparing your mind, and that's why they said, Show me your friends. I tell you, show me the people you are relating with. That thing that says, Meditate on his word. Because, you see, there are days that when you are finishing listening to the bishop message and you wake up to the of, in the office in the morning, that's when one girl will say, you, why are you just coming by 10? In fact, <laughs> I'm going to give you 55%. No matter if you 55, you know what will follow. But there's a grace that comes upon you. I've been, I'm, this thing I'm telling you, I've been there in my place of work. There's a time that I choose work, 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 work. Sir, you will just be you'll be trenches. But when you choose God, when you choose God, as they are bringing it like this, there's one of our brother here. He, he I know you'll be laughing with someone. He said, the day you choose to come and do meeting with God, <laughs> by the time you go to the office, <laughs> they brought problem. But God that is bigger than them, He gave them a program, problem that is bigger than them. And he was the solution. Whoever fights a solution, nobody. In your family, if you are the solution, if you are the provider, if they call meeting for 10 a.m. in the morning, if you come in 12 p.m., they will wait. I'm telling you. Praise God. He said, if it's not what, if it's no more grace, then it can't be work. Let me share another story with you. I remember um, the plan I was planning for my wedding also. Ah, come on. This is eh. No bishop, you say that in that. They don't used to save money for wedding. <laughs> and yeah, bishop. <laughs> he said, Brother, yes, bishop said do a job, but you know, bishop understand these things that I'm saying. That you can't save. You see, you can't save to build a house. Look at in our um in our uh, what's it called? The virtues life. Stop the video. That man said, if you save $100,000 every day for 20 years, you are not yet a billionaire in dollars. Ah. When God has said, I should seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and that billions, that good health, Who become my uh uh Baba God, no why me, no no why me. I'm telling you the truth. I learned this thing from my man of God. Bishop will say that sometimes Bishop will say, Do you think it's easy to pay six hundred thousand naira every month? After you finish paying that bill, some people will now still come and tell you that, sir, you are using three cars. We need to pay rent. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, oh yeah. Why don't you sell one for us to pay this? And the man of God still went ahead to sell the vehicle. But those people, where are they today? When you listen to men, it trenches me. But when you align with God, you align. When you align, you align. You align. You know, one thing I've learned is that these days, I don't look at the bills any longer. There was a time here that I think my, 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 my wife's vehicle had issues. And um, <laughs> Mr. Jasper can <laughs> I'm, I'm can really there. And I was worried. That day, I was supposed to come for Wednesday service. I went, okay, I quickly said, let me quickly, quickly. Well, that quickly will not quickly. Let me quickly go and sort out that thing. I quickly, they delay, they drag, you know, once in the other. I couldn't, I was trying, there was traffic, I couldn't make it for Wednesday. Sir, that decision of not coming to church, it spent me four months to be able to resolve the result. God now told me when I go back, he said, if you had come, immediately I left that place, my eyes open of what to do. Amen. 
So I'm not telling you as if I'm not a victim. You know, Bishop will say that. I'm telling you because I have seen it. And you know, only you my so quick, why do you tell you? Oh, sorry. I don't want us to make the same mistakes that we have made. When bishops tell us this in those things, I don't understand. Now I have an opportunity to join the the military distance more. I understand some things that Bishop will say sometimes. You know, when Bishop is talking and you say you have an opinion, I suppose that oh, yeah, I can no opinion. But uh, <laughs> so when Bishop, so there are some things Bishop does before that I would now look at it and say, okay, okay, okay. Because if you are not in that circle, you can't relate. Look at it when they came to Jesus that they needed money. He said, go and the first fish. He didn't say the second fish. Because that guy could have catch two fish. Amen. He said the first fish. Open the mouth. The same way in the wedding. He said, pour water. He said, whatever. Because he knows that those guys might not want to be. Because he knows what he's going to tell them to do. <laughs> you know there are some things that when you do they go beat you eh? <laughs> you understand the kind of beating that you would receive say whatever he asks you to do don't argue when the man of God has prophesied over your life don't argue which one is your own now you won't do one they've given you confession you say you are rushing to work you don't have time to read it you now go outside Things are now not working. Whose fault is it? Is it God's fault or your fault? Bishop had prophesied. When Bishop was prophesying, that you're supposed to take your phone and record. Or they've done online. You did not join. Things are now not going well. Whose fault is it? It's your fault. Because they say what? The spiritual control what? The physical. Bishop said everything happened what? Twice. 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 I was telling myself, I was asking God some question. Ah, by now. They are, I'm driving a lot of cars. Some of them are not mine. I was now wondering that God, why? God said, because when you are seeing those pictures then, you are not seeing those vehicles as yours. But you are seeing yourself having plenty. Plenty. So that means that when you are seeing, you must see right. There are people who have not left this country. That if they call London now, 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 they will answer them. And there are some people they've spent 30 something years in London. So I'm telling you, as I'm here, if I call London now, if I call London now, 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 now. Will happen on that discovery, amen. What are you looking for? Is it money? He will give you good health, he will give you favor, he will give you. Bishop said something to me. He said, Any man that lives by salary cannot go far. First day said it. Oh, ah, kilo di. Share our anish share ni. Ba life e pawo. Abi. Eh, like the streets and say ba life e cash out. Abi. As in, how will I make money? Say any man that lives by salary cannot do. Cannot go far. Eh, more by pe. You now show me. Now say share. You know the scripture said that he that. Abides in me, and I in him. Who do what? The book of Matthew 7 7. Who can help me? We have many prophets in the house. Many prophets. These things are real. God told me, He said, I'm taking you somewhere. When my man of God was telling me that Mr. Charles is going to be a resident pastor, I said, sir, he said, you will support him. I said, sir, whatever you see, if you like, if you say as you live now, 
I should still be carrying his bag from that. I'll sit down there and carry it. Who am I? He's using me. Ah, you better thank God. Let me tell you something. If you think that they are using you, let them stop calling you. Check it. Glory to God. Amen. Somebody riding with him this morning. Glory to Jesus. If somebody is happy in the Lord, can you shout hallelujah? Romans 8.32 because I'm rounding up because I can't finish this thing. Romans 8.32 Glory to Jesus. <laughs> Say what? He that spare not his own son. But what? Uh-huh. You know, some things lose. So, oh, okay. Uh-uh. 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 Sir, I'm, I'm using your authority, sir. Some things, sir. Abby? So, why are you now rushing? Where are you going to? What are you looking for? If you are in that your place of work and they've no wonder how you are making it, oh, it's better. I have some people that with me, they will say, ah, man of God, you they do your own. You need no Allah. Yes. Bishop said it. There's a man of God here when we went to do naming. <laughs> they said, Yahu pastor. They are coming there. Because they can't understand. Said what? This what? The spiritual what? Control the physical. Look at GTB, GTB that you are shouting. It is 40 days fasting and prayer that brought it. Why don't you spend 30 days with God and become a billionaire than spend only five years in a, an organization and just become a, a maybe a general manager? And at a, at a general manager, at a manager, anything that is other manager, at a where are we? I'm telling you that if not for God that has helped me, let me share this testimony with you. In my place of work, for the past eight years that I've been working, there's no year that I've not paid a debt of more than 700,000 naira. How much is my salary? Remove it from it. But because I'm aligning God has been helping me. There's one of my brother here um, that we're together. I met him when I was looking for admission. We've been friends. And there's a time that we used to come to Bishop together. That guy understood what we were doing. He would just come, we'll come together. You know, he's very short. So, <laughs> the guy is doing well. Do you know how much it is for you to sponsor your brother? He bought, him, he bought his brother a car before he bought himself. He sponsored his brother, wife, and two children to London. Do you know how much must be in their balance before they will travel? There are levels to these things. Just under the what, instruction of what? He said, whatsoever. That means whatsoever you are doing. And you are lying. Glory to God. Can we... Glory to Jesus. Can we open to the book of I child? Look at it, that thing. He said, I wrote it here. I said, Your Christianity will change from the day you choose to focus on Jesus. And how can you focus? It's by aligning with the one that He has sent to you. Because He has said that He has placed your prosperity in His servant. The more you are alive, the more you prosper. Have you not seen CEO that are usher in some organization? This same thing that the man of God is doing to us. I remember Reverend Sam did the same thing. 
he has 13 rich, wretched people, <laughs> as in broke people, and he prophesied to their life. And they ran with it. The difference between somebody that sees results is because the person, this one ran, and this one did not run. The story of the one talent, two talent, and five talent. The five talent ran with it. God even came and collected from the one that has one. As I said, the one who are rich, they will continue to be rich. It's the line you choose. If you choose to be poor, you'll be poor. If you choose to be rich, you'll be rich. As long as you are aligning. It's a decision. I told myself, I said, as from today, anything that is not original, I can't wear it again. I crossed that line. Sir, don't, don't think about it. Too. There's a day somebody came to me and said, Sir, this is your shoe you are wearing. Can I buy it? That I want to know how much. I didn't do anything. I just took him online. Put the, you know, original will come with a code. I put the code. Pa, 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 pa. Put it. When he saw it, he says, I don't worry. I didn't buy it. It was a gift. You don't have to buy it to your money. Somebody can wake up and send you shoes worth $20,000. It costs them nothing. Money is nothing. It's an exchange. It's a, it's a means of exchange. If we wake up tomorrow now and say we are not using Nera notes again, Bishop, has, everything I'm saying is Bishop. Bishop. It's, it's not me. I can, I can, if I play this message now, you will see it back to back. Praise God. I have to go right now. With no other means this morning. Uh, I don't have time to do anything again. Praise God. Can you welcome off stage this morning? With a shout of joy.